Dudes and double job, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, guys. Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Magnus Rick here, back with some more East Origin gameplay. In the last video, we did a bunch of stuff trying to beat the boss with our that construct boss, and we finally beat him. And then the last time, I actually died in this room because my controller screwed me over. But uh, we're gonna go back into here. Hopefully, we can clear this. Actually, I did find some success last time with the fire sword. So, anyway, guys. We are in the most cliche. I gotta say, this stage is just so, like, all of the stages actually are just like, I knew this was coming, like, you know. You knew this was coming, the sand stage. So, alright. These guys have a lot of HP, but hopefully we can grind up a little bit and get that. Right. And that's kind of how it works, actually. You know, I was barely strong enough to beat the boss last time, and so when you get into the next region, it might be kind of difficult, but, you know, just get a couple levels and then... Very quickly, things will start getting easier, hopefully. Oh, shitty. This thing actually is quicksand. Oh my god. I'm, I'm stuck in there. Like, if you if you stop moving for a second, you actually start sinking, so... That's something I'm gonna watch out for. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die again. Oh my god. Yeah, just jump in the sand. And I can't... That's the thing, I can't afford... Yeah, fucking... Hey! Okay, I was not paying attention very well. Okay, let's try. Let's start that over. <laughs> but uh, as I was saying, uh, just need a couple levels and then everything will be made a lot easier. Hopefully, that's kind of the plan here. Okay, maybe I should charge this all the way, get him to come out, then shoot the fire. Yeah, let's be a little bit smarter with that. This guy just is plain tanky though. That's that's the problem here. I don't really think he has that that many weaknesses. I think I'm doing really is doing that much damage though. So. Fire as usual. Seems to be doing pretty well. I wonder if I can stun him though. That might be something I might try. I'm gonna take another hit. Got some health though that time. And man, can I just say real quick that, you know, I had the music playing a little bit after I died last time and I was like, the music here is actually kind of awesome. <laughs> I was just listening to it a little bit and it, it is a good song. Shit. Uh, oh, okay, I can actually jump out of that. Um. And I had to go back because I was doing some editing and I wanted to put the song at the end of it. And turns out that a lot of people actually like this song. So uh, they said, oh, this is the best song in the game. I'm like, you know what? Probably. And I've liked a lot of the songs already. So look at this. Look at this, guys. They, they will not leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Oh, perfect. Using that whirlwind right there. Whirlwind might be best considering. Okay, it's, it's it's really the poison that's doing so much damage to me right now. 55 it's doing. Please kill him. Thank you. Whew. Alrighty. So very clearly we can't go to the right uh, or up here because the wall's too high. So um, I think you can only drop down from there. So probably loop around and pick up that root on the way back. But until then we gotta find where the root of, root of fruit is. So let's grab this and save real quick. Cause that was a lot harder than it should be. Shit. Moving along that door we just unlocked. And I still haven't checked out those other two rooms, so. This is kind of how this, these, like, mazes are. This does seem like the way I'm supposed to go, so. Don't want to fuck with those guys, man. Okay. I guess I should, since. Mages and all that. Okay. Doing no damage to them, so. I just don't want to fight on these stairs, is the, is the honest truth here. Ugh. They are not giving me a... Okay, they are, like, heavily resistant to magic, meaning that they're gonna... Obviously take more damage to physical, hopefully. They are just spamming the shit at me. Yeah, you can see why I wanted to leave this room. Oh, God. Ugh, get over there! I cannot dish out any damage to anybody. Because I'm slipping, sliding all over the damn... Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, got him. Got him and a heal. No, I... I think they're healing each other. Yeah, they're healing each other, guys. I'm gonna be screwed in a second here. I just spam my fire like crazy. That's what I'm talking about. Let's hit him with the sword. Yeah. Nah, okay, gotta, gotta love it. You can see why I don't want to fight in this room. I was like, fuck those guys. Let's keep moving on over here. These guys seem like they're not easier. Looks like we're actually dropping down. Is that really all there was to this one? Okay. That last room just had us going over here. 
Which I think this is the middle one. Now. Hold on. So a lot of dropping down, I think, is what's going to be happening. Oh shit, okay, I need a key to this room. So nothing going for me here. So looks like we got to find where the key is before we start moving on. But now we know where the door is, so that's good. And yet another... That's twice we've seen things where that are just out of out of reach, so I gotta like jump down. I, I feel like we're dropping down on a lot of things here. So dropping down onto the door, dropping down to different levels. So I just gotta be mindful where these things are. And nothing up here, I guess. So. Just some health. So okay, I'm just I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Now it seems like we're in the left room. Oh, we found the road of fruit. Okay. Well, I was, I was actually like, that's one thing I had. We have to find, as well as whatever artifact they usually have in the new stages. So, um, okay. Is I'm pretty sure we're we've moved left into the middle room. So, yeah, exactly. So, that's just like a connection bridge. Okay. So the only thing left is got to be in the left room here. So, I feel like, damn it, I could have done this in like a different order, and I would have done it correctly the first time. But who knows? We're only three places to go. What do you want from me? There's a chest right there. Oops. I want to keep my fire on at all times. And fire is dishing out the hurt. Okay, yeah. But it's very clearly, you cannot fight this guy in melee range. So what else do you want me to do except like blast him with some fire? Get him. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Why the hell would I do anything else? A lot of dead ends I'm seeing here. It's like that whole upper path was just kind of useless. And I don't want to fuck with anybody down here. Let's fight these guys though. Don't want to get over leveled by just skipping everybody, so we'll make sure that we kill everybody. Use our new sword. This has some pretty good damage. Oh, jump attack! Oh, no, nah, I didn't. It's hard to really tell if you're getting more deeps out of that, honestly, guys. Yeah, you, you attack a lot slower with the with the bigger weapon, but um, you obviously do more damage. But thing is, that the the basic attack combo doesn't seem to chain very well. I think. Oh, nice stun! Like you can get the four hit combo off with this axe, like, and keep attacking. That's the kind of kind of beauty of the axe. We'll be checking the downwards path. I definitely see something going on there. I know you can reach that. Oh, perfect jump. You have to make a perfect jump to do that. And they're giving us 5,000 SP. Hmm. That's the first time I've, I think I've actually seen a chest like that. Which is kind of interesting, actually, I was wondering. Because, you know, the God of Statues, you can buy upgrades. But they're like 15,000 and stuff. We just have 15,000 right now. So they're probably going to be giving us more chests like that. I'm just kind of inspecting the freezing here, but I'm definitely seeing a place where we could use our mask of eyes here. And I'm guessing they are telegraphing where the secrets are, guys. So that's very clearly a, a secret over here. And we got an evil ring. Um, I have no idea what that's used for. That's a guy here. Um. Yeah, I was gonna mention, you know, they they usually give us like an artifact and then they expect us to use the artifact like immediately afterwards, so um, probably gonna put that accessory on. And it's actually not an accessory here, so it's actually an inventory item. Yeah, this one right here. A ring made by demons, though his power seems to have been drained. Let's go ahead and equip it. And I didn't see any change. Is it taking my HP? Or was I, was I already that low? Um, I forgot to see what was up here. Again, another area where it seems we gotta drop down from, so. No way we can reach that from where we were. Oh, shit. Okay, I don't. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Let's grab this chest here. But as I was saying, usually when you get an artifact, and there's our key, so we know exactly where to take that. Uh, when you get an artifact, they expect you to use it, like, immediately. It's not kind of. It's not very confusing at all. It's uh, pretty linear. You know, when you get a new power up, when you get a new 
artifact, whatever, they totally expect you to use this. And, um, like, for instance, when we got our fire sword and our whirlwind, they're like, hey, you gotta use it right now, once you got it, so. Um, we gotta go into this, actually, it's this way now, actually. We gotta drop down to the keyhole, so. Not a very uh, confusing puzzle at all. Just kind of the order. Uh, you go into these rooms. Definitely for speedrunning tactics, you would know exactly where to go, but... Alright, we're just gonna... Actually, you know what? We're gonna kill these guys since they're kinda easy to kill with a Phoenix Fire! Get wrecked! Yeah, I, I can't imagine you fighting these guys like regular with your melee, because their melee attack is just beast. How do you fuck with a guy who's spinning on you? Ooh, okay. And we're gonna use the normal key, guys. Oh, shit. Um, I don't think I've seen these guys before. How do I fight them? Okay, they're each throwing like two bombs a piece. All of them. Uh, can I interrupt them? Oh, I got him. Okay. So, not that strong. Can I just hit him with my magic spam? <laughs> I'm about to die! Oh, oh guys. He just threw a bomb in me. That's okay. Get wrecked. Oh my god. One more. One more. Don't get cocky. Got him. Alright. There's the chest, baby. What I'm talking about. What do we get out of it? And we got a gold bracelet. Is it more increased speed? A surge of power burst forth from the artifact. Hilka is now able to double jump. Yes. Yes. You know, I was thinking this. I was like... Either they're gonna have us get a double jump, or they're gonna have us drop down from areas. They just didn't uh, expect a double jump, so uh, we do get a double jump, guys. It does say, while in midair, jump again to wait from a jump, jump again. Okay, there you go. And now we can access some higher spots. And a th down thrust maneuver has always had a chance to stun enemies, but if performed from the height of a double jump, that chance has significantly increased. Oh, sick! Look at Unica's Unica's front flips are sick, yo. She could have just done a, a regular double jump. No, it's the front flip kind. It's of the front front flip variety. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so cool. And uh, y there's no way I'm gonna just let that pass by, guys. We're gonna get rid of that shit. We're gonna use our new double jump, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And we got a ruby, guys. So we're just gonna upgrade our magic for our phoenix flame. And I think everything I have is level three. Then now that I. Look at it, yeah, it is, so everything's caught up, everything's the same uh, level, and guys, we're strong as shit. Ah, uh, and this is exactly where this room actually led to, so we've, I think we've, oh, I can't afford to get hit anymore, guys. <gasps> uh, fuck this, okay. So, I know, I actually do know where we're gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the right room, because there was a place where I couldn't reach. Oh, oh. Uh, Fuck you! Okay. Let's go get that save, though. And that's where the, uh, the Rue was, I think, so. And guys, that was not too difficult. I am actually really, uh, I like the mob- I like whenever you get new no mobility, especially, like, the- When we picked up the dash, that was one thing. I was like, yeah, we got a dash now. And, uh... Are we gonna talk to this Rue? He's probably gonna give us something else. The Rue appears to be hungry. <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you sneaking in a nap or something? You've got that hungry look in your eyes. We're we gonna give him that fruit. Thanks, bitch. I'm starving up here. And we got some self in boots, guys. <laughs> Thanks. These should come in pretty handy. Where the fuck was he keeping this shit? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and equip that. And. Slight increase. I don't see. That was like five defense. So not bad. And guys, we're gonna move on. And actually, you know, I was just thinking, there is a, there's a, one other place before we keep moving on. Is uh, in the middle room. Is actually there was a chest, but I think I needed to have a, a double jump as well. So I'm gonna go over there real quick. Grab that. Just thinking back on whatever we missed here. So it's not over there. It's actually to. Oh. Come on, man. Over here is where that should. Probably shouldn't forget that. Okay, so we got a Calcitan Panicia. 
and I haven't actually used those in a while, so I got two left. Increase our HP by four by doing this, might as well. <clears throat> I think I just got bopped there. Alrighty. Just keep moving forward, guys. We're saving. Get out of here. So I think I, I feel pretty confident that I've cleared that area pretty well. And actually, I can jump out of the sand very easily now, too, so... It's another bonus to this double jump, I guess. Ooh, yeah! Okay, are we... Uh, was that it with the... Okay. We're just going higher. I was like, there's no way. The, the later, the last dungeon, the lava one, was just really long, so... There's no way this is over. Cutscene, what do we got? Unica? It's a probably a goddess right now. Rhea or something. There she is. I know it. Mm-hmm. Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea! <laughs> My face. <laughs> uh... Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried about you. It looked a little weird. They're hugging, I understand. I'm very, I'm very surprised to see you here. You know, looking at that mugshot face, it doesn't look the same as what we just saw. It really doesn't. I'm probably gonna do, like, a split screen. They don't look the same, do they? Looks super weird. What in the world are you doing in a place like this? And look how you've grown. You have the eyes of a woman now. No longer a little trespasser, it would seem. It, you really think so? Oh, but never mind that now, Rhea. Or... Never mind that now, Lady Rhea. I have a lot to discuss with you, but this is not the place to do it. It's dangerous here. <laughs> she She's learning from our past experiences. She doesn't want to talk here because she'll get fuck, fucking kidnapped. <laughs> How about we head back to the tower base? Father Superior is waiting from there for you. And everyone else has been worried sick too. I'm sure they'd be tr thrilled to see that you're alright. Yo, don't you understand, Unica? They do not give a fuck about us. They're doing- they have a mission. <laughs> Lady Rhea. Hush. Oh shit. We're surrounded. I thought she was gonna just diss on me. <laughs> it's like, shut up. D demons They're coming for us. Get behind me, Unica. No. You get behind me. Oh yeah. I'll protect you, Lady Rhea. Unica? Are you fucking- Look, I can fly. There's no need- They can't even get to me. Okay. Guys, seriously, what are these things? Okay, it's very easy. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna cheese the fuck out of these guys. I don't even care. You don't have to screw this. I'm leaving. No, you can't. <laughs> I was like, if you could leave right now, that'd be fucked up. But yeah, I, I totally had to cheese them. Get cheesed. Wouldn't that be so weird to see that? <laughs> to see somebody do that? Just like kite back and forth and keep doing the same move. It's like, I can't believe this is working. <laughs> Whew, Lady Rhea, are you okay? Ah, shit. You see? They, they, like seriously, what are they? That is a antelope head, like, okay, spider body, mantis arms, and like a, like a goat body, and like a skeletal chest. That is a demon if I'd ever seen one. <laughs> Stay where you are, Unica. Get one shot. <laughs> there we go. Yo, Unica, you need to give me your game shark hacks right now. That was awesome! I could say the same about you. I'm truly amazed at how strong you've become. Well, I'm just an apprentice, but I am technically part of the Holy Knights now. Is that so? You, know, you are not gonna ask about that, like, floating crystal ball of demonness behind her? You're not gonna even ask about that? How delightful. My little Unica's growing up so fast. I knew that some of you had returned to the surface in search of us, but never did I expect you to be among them. Well, I'm not sure I should be here, honestly. I mean, because of me, Lady Fina was... I know. She's been captured. I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. No, Unica, there's no reason for you to apologize. Look at that concerned face right there. She is so damn concerned. If anything, we should be the ones apologizing to you. Hmm? She, Fina... She, 
Athena acted as a decoy to help keep the enemy off my tail, to keep the Black Pearl from falling into their hands. He just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and got caught up in the aftermath of those actions. Part of the reason why we left Solomon's Shrine without telling anyone, in fact, was so that none of you would get involved in this, but it seems we underestimated how quickly you would spring into action. I'm truly sorry for the trouble we've caused. No, please don't apologize, Lady Rhea. It's okay. You'd have done the same for any of us. Oh yeah, I have something for you. Lady Fina asked me to hold on to it. It's probably the harmonica. There you go. <laughs> she found it! Thank you, Unica. Wait, you lost it? You lost it in this tower? I believe Fina is being held in Rado's Annex, which is connected to one of the upper floors by a suspended bridge. Rado's Annex? Yes, it's a smaller tower with no foundation, hanging impossibly in the sky. You may have seen it from outside. I sense it's a dreadful place, but I do believe Lady Fina is safe within it, for now at least. If anything were to happen to her, I would know. Well, I'm glad to hear she's safe at least. So I guess there must be something big going on, right? There would have to be for you two to sneak back to the surface and to bring the black, black pearl with you, no less. Grandpa and the other priests were really in a panic when they couldn't find you. Concern, Lady Rhea? I wish I could explain everything to you, Yunika, but there's simply no time for that. I must get to the Tower Summit at once. What? Well, can you at least see the commander and Cecilia first? They're probably not far from here, uh, from here by now. She do not give a fuck about those guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to go. But I'll leave this with you. Is it your one-shot move? Because I definitely will abuse the shit out of that. We got some silver chimes. Wait, isn't that what you just used on those? Oh, yeah, we're gonna get the one-shot move, guys. It is. Consider it an, an exchange. A new good luck charm to take place of that silver harmonica you brought me. It's a set of chimes that grants eternal slumber to the poor souls from whom such luxury has so long been denied. May it keep you safe on your journey back home. No, wait! I may be an apprentice, but I'm still a knight, which means I took an oath to protect the goddesses to protect you. I can't just sit back and let you go to the Tower Summit all by yourself, knowing the risks. Even if you wait for, won't wait for anyone else, at least take me with you. Unico, get the fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> but this is a test that Fina and I must accomplish alone. I'm sorry. I know I must be coming across as selfish right now. Reckless, perhaps. But this is how it has to be. Please stay safe, Unica. I don't want anything to happen to you in here. And see you later. Yeah, she... If you could just tell... A lot of people are just teleporting up this tower. You know? It's like... You guys need to fucking take me with you. Something's definitely not right. Lady Rian had a really sad look in her eyes. Mournful, even. There's a lot more going on here than we know. And I don't have the slightest idea how to help. I guess she did say Lady Fina was being held in that Rado's Annex place, though. So that's something. Let's see if I can find it. Alrighty, guys. Well, we know exactly what we gotta do now. Let's go jump over to that Rado's Annex place, which... Um, yeah, I, I don't know I, at all, but I did see that we're almost at the top of this tower. I don't know if this is just the top of the tower. And then this is the... I was thinking that... Um, when she said that, I was like, okay, if it's another tower on top of it, then these are going to be the floors to that tower. I was like, oh gosh, we're only halfway through the game. <laughs> um, but uh, maybe that might be the home stretch. I have no idea, actually. So uh, let's continue on. We did get some silver chimes. I want to see actually what those do. And that actually is a new accessory. So holy chimes held by the goddess Rhea. Their tone is said to put undying souls to rest. Let's go ahead and equip that. And... Uh... Okay. Yeah, you know, part of me was like, okay, is it going to do the one-shot move? Doubt it. But I think it's actually going to kill these guys, like, permanently. I think right there when I actually kill... What What are these little fucking trilobites here? Chill, man. Get the fuck off of me. But I think what's happening is uh, once I kill those demons, they'll actually die permanently. Which I don't think was something that happened before. So... Uh, let's actually try it right now. If I kill those guys without the chimes equipped, it, I don't think they actually die. These uh, demon guys. Yeah, right here, they just kind of fall apart. So if we equip the chimes, I guess that auto kills them. Or when we actually kill them, it'll, it'll defeat them. There you go. There's the difference. So. 
Okay, I, I'm thinking then there's no reason why we shouldn't have this equipped it, because I don't know how many enemies that actually applies to. Fucking these trilobites can go screw themselves, get off of me! These seems like easy EXP right here, but they are annoying. Oh my god, okay. Oh, forgot, I could double jump. Get out of there, dude. Very clearly, this. Oh, I think I'm gonna be better at this. Come on. Alright. Oh shit. I miscalculated how far they would actually go across. Okay. Screw you. So I'm guessing the way our platforming is just gonna get serious after a while, because now we have access to both a mobility skill in the air to cover long distances as well as a double jump to get that vertical height, so something I think we can definitely abuse. I want to kill these guys now. I will not spare a single one of these, like, trilobite roaches. Oh my gosh. Like, seriously, you can't fight these guys in melee range. They're, they will always trade with you, so it's just like, what else do you want me to do? I gotta super choose them. Definitely saw this chest, though. This is like the- okay. We got a Calcitan uh, Panisius. That is like one chest that is like, they might have uh, put it right in our middle of our path. That was just like freaking easy. Alright. Got some more switches and shit we gotta deal with. And we got an elevator. Okay. A lot of platform and stuff, like I said, guys. Ooh. I can only imagine we're gonna have, we're gonna probably have some like really hard jumps. I'm thinking, with a combination of the whirlwind and the double jump, so we'll make our way over here. Oh, okay. I, I'm pressing the jump button. I don't know why it's not jumping. How did I just run into that without even jumping? Shit. Alrighty. Uh, yet another elevator. This music, guys, is really sick. You know, it's hard to. I, I know. I, I like hardly ever talk about uh, VGM, but I'm like a really big uh, enthusiast of VGM. I really love, uh, especially, uh, you know, um, you know, the background music in video games. I'm a huge fan. And I'm, like, not music savvy, really. Oh, come on. I suck today. I really suck. If I get hit by one, another one of those things, I'm probably going to die. Not good. But as, as I'm saying, I'm not, like, a, a huge buff at, at music, guys. But I feel like when you hear a good song, you definitely know it, you know? It's like you don't have to be... A, like really good at understanding music to get some 5,000 SP to know when you hear a good song so I hear I usually hear like tons of different songs from other games and there's got to be at least one good song in every game that you play honestly because it's kind of how, how it works people can compose music even in shitty games so I even look at I, I find some good songs in shitty games luckily this is a good game with a lot of good tracks and uh, what you can end up doing is just searching. I don't want to die. I'm going to keep rushing. You know, you could just keep searching for a... A artist or something that is really good. And, you know, find all of the songs that he does. So. God. This is this is what I was trying to avoid. And I got bombed right in the face. So, so I th what I was getting at was I kind of feel like this, this game is perfect for that. I'm going to try to find whoever did the uh, composition. Whoever composed all the music for this. Uh, game and then I'm gonna just find all of his other games because usually they sound similar is, is what I was getting at so Once again bad start, but anyway guys I'm gonna cut back to where we were before I fucking died in hell, you know, you would think uh, Me not commentating <laughs> I would be doing a better job No, I'm doing equally as bad as last time those trilobites just like comboed me man. I Only have 21 HP. I might not make it the second time if that bomb blows up and I fucking die. Okay Okay I only have 21 HP. Am I gonna make it? 
this is what this is exactly the same situation as last time. Oh, didn't jump that time. Okay, please give me a save point. Shit, we still got one more room, guys. I, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ignore these guys for a sec. I have, uh, oh my god. Okay, they're, they're like summoning shit. What is this? It's locked up tight. It won't open without a key. Fuck. Um, I feel like maybe we gotta kill all these guys to get the key. We'll we'll check out the. Uh, okay, there's another path here, and fucking the demons following me. Okay, that's a circle. That's a circle. Let's go up the stairs. There might be the save point. Please. Oh my God, that guy's attacks just kind of follow. Okay, definitely moving on from this area here. Okay, so we're like uh, going to the next area. <gasps> Unica, there's Musha. Musha, Kadina, and you must be. Oh, that's right. You two haven't been introduced yet. Look at this fucking guy. He do not give. He does not give one single shit right now. <laughs> Look at him. That is the blankest face ever. Hugo Fact. I just rejoined the search party recently, so I've not yet had the pleasure. Seems quite a lot's happened in my absence. At any rate, it's good to meet you. Not really, I don't give a fuck about you. Nice to meet you too, I'm Yunika Toba. Ah, uh, so you're the girl from House Toba then. So what are you three doing here? Well, take a look. Alrighty guys, that is very clearly a uh, impossible building. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> But it's still a pretty awesome kind of design. It's funny, you know, you, you're in engineering, you see all kinds of like building and structures and things like that and forces and... I, I can imagine how much torque that, that annex is having on that bridge right there. I'm looking, I'm pointing at it right there because that's the point where it's going to get the most force. Anyway, we're not going to be talking about that. A tiny tower connected by a suspended bridge. So that's Rados Annex, huh? Huh? <gasps> well, well. How do you know what it's called? He only just found that out himself. Oh, uh... And I told him about what happened. Interesting. But, but why would Lady Rhea want to go to the top of the tower? I think the answer to that will have to wait. We've got Lady Fina within arm's reach here. We need to focus on securing her safely. Oh yeah, you're right, of course. Sorry. Unica, was it? You seem to understand the situation more or less, so I'll be brief. Freeing the goddess is of paramount importance, but it's not going to be as easy as just walking in there and picking a lock. I don't know what it is, but there's powerful energy emanating from that small tower, and, well, let's just say it's not wholesome. Not wholesome? I was about to ask the same thing. I'm like, <laughs> wholesome what? In other words, evil. Something in there is stronger than anything I've ever encountered before, and it's going to get in her way. Since we don't know exactly what's waiting for us in there, it would be unwise to rush in. Oh, that's perfect then. Unica. <laughs> that's Unica's call sign right there. Rush in? I know that. Is there any way for us to find out what it is? Not without putting someone in harm's way. Once again, Unica. <laughs> We're kind of at a loss. It's fine. I'll go check it out. She, she is suicidal, man. W what? You have got to be kidding. Didn't you hear a word we just said? The atmosphere coming off of there is indescribable to one who can't use magic, but unsafe would be an understatement. Uh, okay. But what else can we do? We go see for ourselves what's in there, or we just stand out here forever? I'll just run in, take a quick peek, and come back to let you guys how, know how it's in there. I don't like it, but I really can't argue. Promise me, though. If anything happens in there, you get the hell out. Pronto. Understood. Unica is fucking suicidal, man. <laughs> I know you want to say the, the goddesses and all that, but she is just... She is psycho. In the meantime, I'll get into contact with, with Commander Galleon and the other knights and ask them to join us. No matter what's in there, I think it's safe bet that having a few extra pairs of hands couldn't hurt. Sounds good to me. Alright then. Be careful, Unica. Wow. Uh, Unica, like I said, Unica is just crazy right there. Gonna get a heal. 
And uh, actually, guys, I think that might be it for today. I know I'm going to have to end on this cliffhanger. Literally, because look at this. But awesome view. Oh, look, did you guys see that, like, camera panning? That is actually an awesome, uh, awesome view right there. With the moon and everything. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And in the next video, guys, we're going to be jumping into that annex over there and going headfirst into whatever evil bullshit is back there. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys. Oh.